Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to do that search bar effect that is in one of our title pack. Uh, let's get started. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. So right now we are in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go ahead and create a new timeline. So right now the timeline is uh, HD 24 frame per second. Let's go ahead with that. Let's rename it uh, search bar. Perfect. Let's go. Perfect. Now let's go to effect library. Uh, we're going to go to effect fusion comp, drag a new fusion comp to be able to start from scratch. Let's go to fusion. Okay, so right now we are in Fusion. Let's bring a background first. Let's bring that in and add a mask on top of it to create the box. So let's see that. Perfect. Now we're gonna basically create the shape that we want. So let's go ahead with that. You can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. It's just a matter of preferences. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and having something a tiny bit longer like that is good, I think. I'm gonna adjust the corner radius. I want something that is around on the edges. So right now still on the rectangle one, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go to corner radius and I'm gonna put that to the maximum. I'm gonna put that to one. So now I have really round and nice clean edges. Uh, and pretty much that's all I will create my box. Now we want to do the shadow behind it to have something that look um, a bit more clean and a bit more professional. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select those two nodes. We're gonna do Command C if you're on Mac and Command V to copy and paste it. So now we are basically twice of the same thing. We're gonna link them together. Perfect, so now we have a merge and Let's rename them so we're not getting lost into uh, what is what. So let's say for this one, we're gonna go with F2 to rename. We're gonna do search box. So here's something we're gonna go with F2 and we're gonna put shadow uh, box, okay? So it's just for you to have like a better view on what is actually uh, going on. So now that we have that, so now that we have that, let's change the color of the front box. Let's go with white, perfect. And now we're gonna change the color of um, the shadow. Actually, we're not gonna change the color of the shadow. Sorry, I'm gonna just show you how to make the shadow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the border a tiny bit more, yeah. As you can see, now there is the border around the box and now we're gonna soften it. Perfect. We're gonna make it softer to have like that shadow effect. Um, let's go with three around that. Perfect. And I'm gonna make it a bit smaller around the one. Uh, it's really need to be subtle. It doesn't need to be like, you know, um, really big and obnoxious. Otherwise it's, it's just a look too fake. Um, you know, if you have like a border that is way too wide, um, you, you can do it. It's like a matter of preferences again, but you know, play with that to have like the shadow that you like. Me, I will go with something around uh, maybe one or eight uh, to have something that is really, really subtle. Uh, and it's basically how to make the differentiation between the box and the background when you're gonna drag and drop it um, to like, you know, a project where you're gonna have like a clip behind it. Uh, so that's how we create the box. Right now I'm gonna show you how to make the animation for the box. So I'm gonna basically do a sizing um, and opacity animation. So for that I'm gonna right now select merge. I'm gonna show up the select tool panel by hitting shift and uh, spacebar. Then we're gonna bring in a transform node. So let's go with transform. Let's bring in a transform node in um, the comp. And we're gonna also bring now um, a brightness node. So let's same thing, do shift spacebar. And we're gonna bring a brightness node uh, to have the opacity effect. So let's rename them. So the transform is size animation and the brightness is opacity animation. So you have a better view on what is actually going on. So for that, what we're gonna do is I want the animation to, let's say, be done at 12. So for the size, I'm gonna select the size here and put a keyframe at the 12th frame. Uh, same for opacity. So right now I'm gonna select 
here the A to have like the full control channel of the opacity. So here the gain. The gain is basically the control of the opacity in that instance, in that scenario. So let's just add the keyframe sim at 12 here. And let's start it at, let's say the fourth frame. So we have something that is a bit quicker. Maybe I should have started at eight instead of 12, but whatever, let's uh, go ahead with that. And we're gonna basically for the size, bring it down not to zero, but we're gonna bring it down to 0 0.5. Um, because, okay, so right now we don't see the changes because I need to be there, perfect. Uh, because I want still the thing to show up quickly. I don't want it to start from zero. I just want um, it to start like from maybe half of the size or maybe even a tiny bit more, maybe six. Um, 6.65, let's try it, like, yeah, perfect. I think it's a good size. Uh, and then the opacity, are gonna bring it down to zero. So now we have, perfect. We have something that looks good. Um, just later on, I'm gonna show you how to smooth everything out. Uh, so we have like a clean uh, animation, as clean as possible. Um, so right now we have the animation in, let's do basically the same thing for the animation out. So right now we will want to go to mm, 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 the, six, the 16th frame. Uh, we're gonna go with exact same thing, gain, adding a keyframe, size, adding a keyframe, they are both at one unit here. Uh, then we're gonna go to 60, um, 68, sorry. And then we're gonna bring that again to 0 0.65 for the size. Perfect. And the opacity, we're gonna bring that down to zero. Perfect, and here we have our animation for the box. Uh, I'm gonna show you later how to smooth everything out again. So now that we have that, let's just add the text. So to add the text, really simple. You're just gonna bring a text node here. We're gonna do how to do a search bar. Perfect. Um, right now it's in open sans uh, which everybody got. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna stay with that for now. We're gonna change the color and have something, um, a gray color, let's say A, 8A, 8A, 8. Um, it's just like here, it's, it's, you can, if you know color code of certain colors that you like to use, you can just, you know, put it here, otherwise choose uh, any color. But for the text, I think I'm gonna go with something that looks gray. I'm gonna link the text to the rest of the comp by just making a merge by linking those two together. Perfect, let's check now the new merge. We get the text. For now, what I want, if if I change anything right now, the anchor is in the center, so that's gonna be adjusted in the center. We want it on the left side. So when you do any modification, the text continue to go along uh, properly and it's not messed up. So let's go with the text node and now we're gonna change the anchor here as the left ankle, as you can see, we're gonna bring that here. Uh, we're gonna make it smaller, way smaller. I think about there, it's, it's pretty nice. And now what it does basically is if I want to add anything, as you can see, it had it um, from there. It doesn't, you know, move um, that aspect. That is ten stone. So you, you don't have to adjust that. If, like earlier when we were centered, basically, all the modification will be uh, always moving around uh, from the center. So wait, that's something that we don't want to happen for that specific uh, titles. So let's go with this anchoring type. Perfect. So now I basically need a magnifying glass. That's, um, that's you know, quite key to do a search bar. So I'm gonna go to Flaticon, which is, um, a platform where you can just basically download icons that are SVG. I'm gonna tell you a minute why SVG. You could use PNG, but with the SVG file, you can basically change the color and you have like a lot of um, different aspects that are, are uh, really just, it, it's just more convenient to use. So right now I've just that magnifying glass in Flaticon and that's the icons that I got. So I'm gonna go with this one. Perfect, I'm gonna download it, SVG. Perfect, free download. Okay, so now let's import it. Let's go to Fusion, Import. You're gonna go to SVG. And then you're just basically gonna find the file, bring the file in, perfect. Then it's gonna be imported as a group. 
Um, me, I like to just ungroup it to have access to everything really quickly and see everything really quickly. And then here we go, we got to SVG file. Now we're gonna just adjust the size of it. Let's add a transform node. Again, so shift space to uh, show the select tool panel. Let's add the transform node, perfect. And now we're gonna, you know, make it smaller. So let's do that. Okay, let's make it smaller. Here we go, and we're gonna link the transform to the merge, so to add the magnifying glass to the comp. So let's do that. Perfect. Now we get the magnifying glass. Let's adjust it to the size that we want. So for this specific case, I will go to 45, 0, 45, I think, or 44. Then we're gonna bring it here. And as you can see, it's black and here the text is gray. So I want to have the magnifying glass to be um, the same color. So I'm just gonna adjust that right here. Let's go down here to color. Let's do hey, 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 which is the same color code that I've used for the text. Let's bring the text a bit more closer to the magnifying glass. So it looks good. Perfect, I'm quite happy with it. I think I'm just gonna make it a tiny bit smaller for the magnifying glass, maybe 39 or something like that. Yeah, perfect, I really like it. Uh, it looks clean, it looks nice. Uh, I really, really like that look. Perfect, so now we're gonna basically do a animation for the magnifying glass and for the text. So let's start with the text. With the text, we're just gonna go to the text node and then we're gonna go down to write on a parameter and Basically, let's look where we should finish it. So let's start it at, mm, I will say 10. Let's start it on the 10th frame. So we're gonna bring that down to uh, zero and put a keyframe. And then I want it to finish at 20. And I'm gonna bring that up to, sorry gonna bring that up to one so now I have my write on effect uh, for the text perfect gonna do the same thing here at the end so for the end I'm gonna start at 50 no maybe 54 write on here put the keyframe then I'm gonna go to 62 and I'm gonna bring that down. Perfect. So now same thing. I got my effect. Nice. For the magnifying glass, I just want to have an opacity. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do that like that. So let's do the same thing here. Uh, to the transform node, let's add, so shift space. Let's add brightness again. Let's do that. And we're gonna do uh, basically the same thing. So when it's there i want it to start so it will be on the 10th frame so 10th frame here so let's activate the alpha channel then i want it to basically uh, start there so i'm gonna bring the gain to zero so it doesn't appear i'm gonna keyframe that here so to zero then i'm gonna go up to uh, the 14th frame and i'm gonna bring that back to one Let's see how it goes. Perfect, I got my animation. We're gonna do the same thing um, toward the end. Let's do 58, I think, no, 62. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do 58. 58, I'm gonna add the keyframe here. And then 62, I'm gonna bring the game to zero so it disappear. Perfect, and now I have my animation and my search bar. That is looking good, perfect, awesome. Really happy with that. I just want now to make some adjustment uh, to have a tiny bit more smooth animation. Let's go to spline, we're gonna open the spline up there. Uh, so now let's select everything so we can show all the keyframe that we've just put there. Let's click on that to have everything showing up right here uh, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make it more space so we can see everything properly perfect uh, so now I'm gonna select basically the animation in so all the keyframe of the animation in I'm gonna select everything 
I'm gonna hit S, so everything has been smoothed out now. I'm gonna hit T now to show up the ease in and the ease out. So let's bring that to, let's say 85. I think it's, it will look nice. 85, perfect, let's have a look. Yep, it looks way smoother, it looks really nice, perfect. And we're gonna do basically the same thing for our animation out. We're gonna select everything, we're gonna hit S, but then instead of um, adjusting the is in, we're gonna adjust the is out, and we're gonna go to 85 again, I think it's gonna be uh, really nice, perfect. Here we go, we are on animation in or animation out. We got our titles, it's working, it's functional. Now, um, basically, if you want to reuse it or to be able to stretch it, um, in your edit page, I will suggest you to add uh, a keyframe stretcher. I've made a video about it, uh, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it. Uh, for the detail, I will link you uh, to the video. Let's go to uh, this merge, and then we're gonna hit again, shift and space. We're gonna bring um, the keyframe stretcher. So key, keyframe stretcher, add, and here we go. So basically, what it's gonna do, it's gonna um, stretch the part that is not, that don't have the animation so you can extend it uh, as long as you want. So right now the source is zero and the end is at 71. So we're gonna put that here. Source start is zero, source end is 71. Perfect. And then the animation is stopping at 18. Perfect, 18 frame. And then it started again at 58, is it 58? Yeah, perfect, 58, let's do 58. 58, perfect, awesome. Uh, and so here we go, we have our final title, so now if we go to the edit page and you choose to stretch it, you can stretch it and you will keep your animation in and out. So let's check, animation in, perfect, going smoothly so as you can see it works the thing doesn't change and if we go toward the end the animation out is working too so that's how you do uh, a search bar in uh, davinci resolve fusion and that's how you can uh, reuse it also just export that as a macro if you want to reuse it and uh, make it uh, work over and over i have another video on macros i'm uh, gonna link that uh, below so you can just export this one as a macro if you want to be able to use it um, from the edit page and from the fusion page all right, so I hope that was useful uh, and that you learned stuff out of this video. Uh, this title is one of the many titles of uh, one of our pack. So just check it out, it's on our website. It's basically like a compilation of all the titles that we are using on a daily basis, uh, you know, going from like, uh, a really simple pointer to like really simple titles uh, stuff that are quite neutral that we can just uh, adjust as we want for uh, the specific project that we're working on and that's just yeah like a basic compilation of uh, the tool that we use most often um, so that's one sample of it so I'll show you right now how to do it if you want to try them out and you know use them for your own project feel free to check out our website and with that being said I wish you an amazing day and see you in the next video bye Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.